Rather than sulk and dwell on what could have been the rest of my senior year, I want to take this time and reflect on what I did make of my time in high school. For anyone that has met me before, I believe that it would have no, come to no surprise that when talking about the past four years of high school and what it's meant to me is talking about the sport of swimming. Starting off in the team my freshman year, I didn't take it too seriously. I still worked hard and tried to compete with the seniors, but being the 105 pound freshman that I was, it was out of reach. I was still able to qualify for the state team, however. I did not place very high and the team placed third. Qualifying for state my freshman year was what jump-started my love for the sport. The next year, I was in the pool training every day, wanting to finish in the top six at the state meet and make the podium. My, senior, my sophomore year, I worked tremendously harder than I did the year before and was able to finish in the top six of my individuals and be a part of the school record-breaking 400 free freestyle team while winning the state championship as a, as a team. The year after me and Lucas Ellingson realized we had a chance to do something special, and that's when back to back, me and Lucas, Lucas and I became a part of Team Manta Shrimp during the off season, which was a workout team with our coach Angie, which consisted of Tuesday, Thursday morning lifts while swimming in the afternoon, five days a week. This was eventual this was evident as I placed second and fourth in my individuals while being part of two first place winning relay teams. Winning state for the second year in a row solidified my love for swimming and the love I have for the grind. I carried that over to my senior season as I still had unfinished business at the state meet. I trained all summer with my club team and never worked so hard in my life as I did this past season. I won all of my events and was able to break the record in the 200 freestyle. The past championship meant the most to me because I felt like it was my and my friend Caden's team. We were both captains and have been on the state team since our freshman year. We've also been lifelong training partners and so winning it with him and this team meant the world. However, I have great accomplishments with this sport. None of that compares with the relationships I have encountered throughout the way. Caden Shanks, Lucas Ellingson Cosenza, and Nick Topar are some of the most hardworking teammates I've ever met, as well as some of the greatest fans I could ask for. Being able to see all four of us on the club record board, as well as the high school record board, is evident of our hard work and dedication. I also would like to take this time and recognize how honored I am and how proud I am to have grown in this great community and been able to represent it. The tremendous support from this community from such a low, recognized sport like swimming is something I'm extremely grateful for and honored. All this success and life-changing experience I have witnessed would not have been possible without my coaches and parents. I want to first off thank my high school swim coach, Angie Shrembo, for being the most dedicated and caring coach I could have asked for. I started swimming with Angie when I was in 8th grade, and she immediately started to push me. She cares about everyone on our team, regardless of their skill level, and puts in countless hours and preparations for meets, no matter the magnitude. Angie has made her mark on the Newport Swimming Program since coming here. Won nine straight district championships, a third place finish at state, two second place finishes, and three straight first place finishes. Swimming for Angie. Swimming for Angie has been a tremendous honor of mine. Throughout all of the countless early morning meets and traveling that comes with swimming, there are three people that are very prominent in those events. My parents and my sister, Allie. My parents have shown tremendous dedication to the sport I love and have been supported with every decision I've made along the way. That is something I'm more than grateful for and don't take for granted one bit. This next fall, I will attend the University of Oregon and study advertising. I have always thought about how my work could impact others while exploring my creativity and being recognized. This is something that I see happening when entering the field of advertising and I'm very excited for what the future holds. Thank you very much.